All right, so hello and welcome to another episode of the vlog. It's okay. My name is Kwame and over here we learn to be uh, better versions of ourselves. And that's what this channel is all about. It's documenting my new freelance journey and filmmaking, photography and becoming an all in all best person for myself and for the people around me. A couple of days ago, I released a video which asked the question, can we all make it big? On YouTube and uh, I talked about some of the things that I've learned so far since beginning my YouTube channel in January not beginning my YouTube channel in January I think I started actively posting videos as vlogs like this in January now before I started posting videos I was binge watching a lot of YouTube videos and all the tips and the tricks and the gadgets to buy and everything all the alternatives the cheaper versions I binge watch a lot of them, how to even talk to the camera and all of that. I watched almost every video that would have made it comfortable for me to start a YouTube channel myself. But the only thing was the relatability in terms of the environment in which all these people that were teaching all these great stuff uh, were from. I'm from Ghana and I didn't find at the time any Ghanaian YouTuber who was teaching anybody who wanted to start a YouTube channel how to go about it. So this is a beginner's guide to starting a YouTube channel. And I think it will be great for Ghanaian content creators who want to start or have their own YouTube channel to maybe see this and fix some of the issues that may occur with them wanting to start a YouTube channel. So when I posted the previous video a couple of days ago, can we all make it big on YouTube? I think this one should have come before that one because that one was a bit more technical on the side of gaining followers and gaining views and all these things. So before you start, let's just backtrack. Before you start a YouTube channel, what do you need to know? I think the first thing you need to know is that YouTube thrives on content. So the first thing you need to know is to decide what kind of content you want to put out on YouTube. Now there's tons and tons and tons of content and it's okay if you are doing a content which already exists. Actually, it's actually good if you are doing a content which already exists, like you want to start a makeup or a lifestyle vlog. Nobody can do makeup like you and nobody can uh, teach people how to do makeup like you. So that already in itself makes your channel unique. So you have to find ways to put out your content that makes it different from the other content. So decide on exactly what you want to do. That is very important and how you want your channel to look like. So there are a few things, for example, on your profile that you need to note, whereby you need to have a good profile picture and a good header. These are the two things or two basic things that people see when they come to your channel. That is about the most basic of your customization of your channel. Now, the next thing you need to know is that your content needs to have a certain look personal to you and it has to be consistent. So when you're posting videos, there are your titles and there are your thumbnails. I'm talking about content even before I come to the gadgets you might need and your thumbnails. So there's this level of consistency with your thumbnails that people can um, quickly track back to you or they know that these are how your thumbnails, these are how your thumbnails look like. So you have your profile picture, you have your header, your thumbnails and your titles and how your channel looks like. I think it's really important to pay attention to these things when you are starting so that you have a consistency with how you're delivering. Now, one thing that is most asked about how to start a YouTube channel is the kind of gadgets you might need. Now to record yourself, you need a camera that is basic. You need some kind of sound to make whatever you're talking about audible enough to the people who are listening. There are some tips and tricks to how to on how to get the best out of your camera, how to get the best out of your sound. Those are detailed um, tutorials, which are, are not going to be in this particular video, but there are three major things you need how to record, which is your camera your sound and you need light as well. Now, one hack I'm going to give you right now on this video is recording with whatever you have, not whatever you have. Let's just say a smartphone. If you have a smartphone, the most basic of basic that has a camera, 
use your smartphone for starters. One trick is to maybe use a window or natural light in your house, open up the window and record facing it. Check out this example of what I did this morning before I even started recording this. Yeah, so this is me recording in front of a window. It's early morning, so there's daylight and you can see that it's pretty clear. Now the trick is to record with your back camera, not the selfie camera, because the back camera is way more quality than the selfie camera or the front camera which the front camera will almost have you looking some type of way because you're trying to see whether you can focus or you are in the frame. It will make you look away from the camera. So if you use a back camera, you can stare into the back camera and just record. Um, at the moment, there's a lot of construction going on, so the noise is terrible. Um, using Filmic Pro, which is a paid app, but I think there are cheaper alternatives we can make you record um, very clean videos with good quality sound as well because they can allow you to use the back microphone the back microphone your phone has a back microphone yes unless you're not using an advanced phone to that um, degree but this is what you can get with just an open window you facing the window not with your back turned to it if your back is turned to it you're going to just be a black silhouette so with you facing the window you can get something like this so you don't necessarily have to go and buy all the gadgets in the world to start you just need to get a cheap tripod make sure you have a clamp that can hold your phone put it in front of the window just stand and talk to it all right so you can see it's a very simple way you need to make sure that you have a stable way or stable uh, way of holding your phone record from the back camera and you have to try and try and try till you get your composition perfectly right. It's something you need to do. The practice is important. So for me, I fell in the trap of um, getting a lot of gadgets and I tend to like to buy gadgets a lot now because I'm constantly watching other gadgets and reviewing new ones that are coming out and all these things. It's, 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 it's a downward spiral you don't want to go into. It's good enough that you have the basics, which is a phone, a tripod that you can record with and good enough or good quality sound to the start it's it's what you want to say that's more important is the personality is more important than the gadgets people have beautiful gadgets the expensive gadgets but they are it doesn't automatically equate to the fact that they have more viewers or more subscribers or more money on youtube so the gadgets are important but always research on budget alternatives it's it's going to save you a lot budget alternatives is going to save you a lot and it's not even even easy even getting it into ghana in the first place so don't worry ahead about the fact that you need to buy everything if you want to buy the basic of basics affordable things there are some um websites in ghana or shops online shops in ghana which i'm going to link below that sell some of these things that you can buy to start i think with filming if you have a great or good enough camera good enough lens i think the light and the sound are the other two things that are a bit tricky but you almost always want to have soft light that is why opening a window and having a natural light come in hit you is soft that that is soft enough light in the daytime not harsh lights at noon but when it's coming through a window i think it's perfect so daytime or daylight is good enough but if you're not using daylight and you're using another light make sure you have diffusion diffusion is having a translucent fabric put in front of the light to diffuse it enough so that it's soft otherwise it's going to be harsh and hitting your face and it's not going to make your videos look more flattering so with gadgets like i said don't worry your head about buying any and everything before you start i use a canon 80d it doesn't even shoot 4k so if you've heard about 4K and you think 4K video looks the absolute best, it's not really, 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 really the reason why you should start recording or not record your YouTube videos because you don't have a 4K camera. I don't use a 4K camera, but I put stuff out there. And I know channels that have huge numbers that use very basic cameras. So there are other tricks to getting views, which I mentioned some of them in my um, previous video you can check out, than concentrating so much on the look of your videos with the gadgets so basic gadgets you need you need good sound which some phones can give you really good sound like the iphone 11 if you don't have that any other phone 
you can record with. There are softwares that make you or that make it easy or that make it possible for you to actually use the back microphone, the back microphone on your phone, which is um, Filmic Pro gives you that um, alternative to use a back microphone. Filmic Pro is not a free app. You can buy Filmic Pro and use it. There's also the Moment app that you can use and these things might improve the quality of the sound. You want the, the, the microphone to be as close to you as possible. Otherwise, if you're recording in a room that is huge, it's going to sound very hollow. These are some of the tricks you need to know. But I, I would say that I'll leave most of them to you to also research. I may not be saying the correct thing. Don't take everything I say. But do research compared to what I was saying. If it's right for you, then go ahead and use it. So I think with content, you need to know what content you want to record and put on YouTube. You need to be consistent with your content in terms of putting it out once every week, twice every week, depending on how you can do it. And then the gadgets, you need to know that the basics are important or good enough to start a YouTube channel. Um, these are the two major things that I would say for a beginner. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not anything um, extraordinary. I think the most work comes in when you have to be consistent. You have to learn how to talk to the camera and be confident enough to engage people for a long time. And also remember that if you're starting your YouTube channel with the aim of making money, then that's your main aim. The reason why you're starting a YouTube channel because you've heard that a lot of people make money. It's true. A lot of people make a lot of money. People are full-time YouTubers and they live off their YouTube. It's very possible, it's very doable, but if you do backtrack or if you look into it, you find that these people have been doing it for years or at least a year. And the kind of content they do may not exactly be exact, um, the same thing you can or will do. So know where you fall within, be consistent, be creative, be creative in your ways of delivering rather than picking a topic to make money fast because you think that that's where you run out of ideas to keep up. You're not the same as the other person. So I can't believe this. <laughs> so my lights went out. And I got to stop recording. <laughs> I was using, oh, I'm using the SLW60. And um, that one requires that you plug it in the wall and my lights just went out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch lights and continue recording or finish up this particular video. All right. So we're going to pause for now. You can't even see me. Oh my God. Yeah, so this is what I meant by relatability. I'm recording and all of a sudden ECG decides to take the light. Light that is not supposed to go off. <sighs> ECG will disgrace you. But anyway, yeah, so this is what I mean by um, knowing what kind of content you want to do. And let me put this over. I was just wiping my face with it knowing what kind of content you want to do and the gadgets you need to get to start. It's more important that your personality shows. It's more important that you're consistent than buying everything that you might not need immediately to begin a YouTube channel. There is a monetization aspect, which I'm sure I'll probably do another video to go through the things I've learned with some settings you need to do back and forth but for today i think this is a, a beginner video which tackles two areas which is the content and the setup these are the two major things you need to know as for the other parts of youtube you grow into it and you discover more this is the end of the video i had to switch my lights and uh, this is not very flattering I said like it, but it's doing the job and uh, I get to finish the video. So yeah, my name is Kwame. You can check out some of the videos that are on the channel. I really do. Yeah, it's recording. 
I need to check everything before I finish and realize that I didn't do jack shit. Yeah, check other videos on the channel and I'll catch you again in the next episode. Wow, ECG would really disgrace you. Adios, man. Peace. 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 Uh, uh. Good show.